Hello there, this is James, your Tactical Manager, and today is Monday, March 6, 2017, and in this video we'll be discussing the Zoho CRM integration with Panadoc. Now what does this integration do? This integration will allow you to create, send, and track quotes, proposals, and contracts within Zoho CRM. Create Panadoc documents with Zoho CRM for contacts, accounts, potentials, and quote objects with all your field and contact information, product information, as well as pricing details will flow into your documents seamlessly. Please note, at this time, we only support the English version of the Zoho CRM. So before we get started, we need to make sure we have a Pandoc account. You can sign up for one right here. And we have installed the Pandoc Chrome extension for Zoho. So let's go ahead and do this now. All we need to do is we click on this link. In turn, it takes us to the Google Chrome store. And the next we do is click on Add to Chrome, and then click on Add Extension. Give it a few minutes to go through and get this installed. And then in turn, it's going to be shown up on the upper right-hand side of your Google Home browser to let you know that it has been installed and is ready for use. So let's go back to the FAQ. Next, of course, we need to log into your Zoho CRM account. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are inside of Zoho CRM. And as of right now, we can do this from the uh, contacts, accounts, potentials, and quotes objects. So let's go into potential real quickly. So here we have, for example, all the list of potentials in this account. Let's go ahead and click on an example of potential. You'll notice over here on the right-hand side, you see the Pandoc module load. Give me one second. I'm going to refresh the screen. And then in turn, it's going to pop up over here on the right-hand side. Now, if you're not connected to your Pandoc account, it will ask you to log in. But if you do see something like this, you know that you are logged in and ready to rock and roll. So let's go back to the FAQ. And as we scroll down, we talk about how everything is getting connected. But the next thing we need to talk about is step two. And step 2A is the Pandoc template setup. So we can use Pandoc roles and templates to import contact information. And we can do this from the potential um, object inside of Zoho. So here we are inside of a Pandoc. I'm looking at a template that I have created today. Over here on the right hand side, we have a section here called roles. And you notice that I've created a role here called decision maker. And when I do that, we automatically get four tokens for first name, last name, email address, and company, which in turn we've used right here in order to send or send the contact information from the contact to the Pandoc document slash template. The other option, of course, is we have to use tokens as well in order to populate other types of data. We're in turn, in turn, I'll show you a couple different locations where to find the tokens to use. So inside of Zoho CRM, we're in this potential object. Over here on the right-hand side, we click on the green gear icon, and then we click on tokens. And you notice here are all the tokens that are associated with this potential, and in turn, we can copy and add these into our Pandoc template in order to use these. For example, right here, as we scroll down, for example, right here. We also have inside of the FAQ, as you scroll down here a little bit, a list of the, uh, the uh, tokens and things that you can, for fields you could use for bringing over from Zoho to Panadoc. We also have the ability to bring over field using uh, to field information as well. So using fields here, uh, we have in the list of tokens in step 2C above, you can need to copy the token with the square brackets into the title with the Panadoc field. For example, we have this field with a mount, and we, there's a title option right here for this field. So let me break that down for you. Inside of this Pandoc template, once again, we're clicking on this field, and over here in the right-hand side, we have a title option, and all that we want to use is the token name, but without the brackets if you want to populate a field data. All right, let's keep on going down. Next, of course, we have a step four. It's just a pre-populate your doc with product and pricing details information. So here we are inside of Zoho. Once again, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, and you're going to notice that we have a product right here called the Iron Man Suit Demo. And what we can do is to send this information over for name, um, um, quantity, and price in order to populate the Pandoc pricing table. So once again, here we are inside of Pandoc. We scroll down to this template. Once again, we have this uh, pricing table option right here. Over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to scroll down. We always want to make sure that this is checked or on to the on position, which is automatically add products to this table. And this is what control to allow information to be sent over. So now that we have this template, we're going to pass this information over. Let's go ahead and give this a, so a shot and see what it looks like. So here we are inside of this potential again. We're going to use in some of this data to pass information over from uh, Zoho to Pandoc. Uh, here we have a couple different contacts, of course, associated with this, including the decision maker right here, Peter Parker. This is going to pass over to Pandoc. So let's go ahead over here on the right-hand side. We click on Create New Document. The next thing, of course, is going to ask you which template did you want to use. And I'm going to use this template right here. 
And the next thing it's going to do is assign people to roles. So we have a Peter Parker automatically associated with a decision maker role. Of course, we have other t contacts associated with the deal. Can also come in here as well. I can also add my uh, add myself or additional CC people as well. We click on Start Editing, and in turn now uh, it's going to use this template and in turn create the document that we have here. And over here on the right hand side, you notice here's the token information that's been populated for our cover page. As we scroll down, um, here's the contact role piece for first name, last name, email address, and company. Here is the course, the account name information, and of course the field that we talked about has been populated with that information as well. Here's the account ID and account in billing information, potential information. Now, if we're coming from a quote, of course, instead of um, so this information would populate and course the contact as well. As we scroll down, here is the product that we sent over from uh, the potential in Zoho to the Pandoc pricing table. All that we need to do now is click on send. We're going to go and change the name up here if we wanted to. We can add additional message and then we can go ahead and click on send. Give it a couple seconds here and then of course the document now has been sent out. And now what's great everybody is that we can close out of the Pandoc window, go back into this individual potential back in Zoho, and here's this brand new document that we have right here that we just created in turn. I can click on and access and open and once again keep and continue the tracking of that document. So once again, this is the Zoho integration with Pandoc. It's a fantastic integration to get you going to pass the data over from Zoho, including your products and uh, products information as well. And as always, if you do have additional questions, concerns about this integration, please let us know. We'll do our best to take care of you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.